Hello, this is a quick screencast to show you how to use FTP to upload a file to the multimedia server and I'll also show you how to then view that file in a browser. And the method we're going to use in this tutorial is to actually do it through uh, the Explorer windows built into Microsoft, Microsoft Windows. So before you start, you will need to know what files you're going to upload. So in this case, um, I'm going to upload a folder and you also need to know your username and password for the BMCC multimedia server and you can get that from your professor so in order to do this the first thing I need to do in, in addition to the files here that I want to upload I also need to just open another window so I can just go to start here and uh, do my documents or um, my computer it doesn't really matter um, what we're going to use now is we're actually going to use the built-in functionality in a window. So instead of where it would say my computer here in the address, you will type in FTP colon slash 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 mmp.bmcc.cuny.edu. Okay. And when you do this and hit enter, it will ask you for a username and password. These are the username and password I said you would need. Uh, yours will look a little different than mine as a student. It'll be your first initial, first four of your last name, and then last four digits of your social security number. Uh, and then you would also put in your password. Okay. And then you click Log On. When you do that, you'll be on your actual uh, seeing your drive on the server. Now if this is the first time you've ever done it, this may be a blank folder so there will be nothing in it. From this point on though, all the actions are pretty much what you would normally expect going from one folder to another. So if I wanted to copy the CC folder here up onto my web server, I could just simply drag it over like this, left click and drag, and it will copy it over. The same thing with the striped umbrella folder, I could do that there, which is already um, on the folder. And if I want to get a file down, let's say I want this quote file, I can also left click and drag it over from the server onto my local drive and it will download it to for it there. Now in order to see these files you've uploaded, so let's go and take a look at um, a file in this striped umbrella folder. And by the way you can navigate these folders like any other folder as well. So if I double click striped umbrella it'll show me the files inside of it. So I want to navigate to this index file here. So let's take up a browser. So this is Internet Explorer. And in the browser now, instead of typing FTP, FTP colon slash slash, you're going on to the web, so it's HTTP colon slash slash. And then again, mmp.bmcc.cuny.edu. And at this point, you would just type in your username. So if you were uh, John Thompson, you'd be J-T-H-O-M, uh, the last four of your social security number like that, and then striped umbrella in this case, because that's the folder we were looking for, and index was the file. I'm a little different as a faculty, so I'm going to change this for mine, but just to show you how it works, um, it's, it's, that's how yours would look. And so after you type that in, and type in correctly the name of the folder and file, and you'll notice here you can also copy it from this as well, striped umbrella index. So you do that and then just hit enter and you should see your file that you've uploaded onto the web. And actually if you give that URL to anyone, they will see it too.